Namaste students. In this video, let us learn heating effect of electric current. Now before we begin, uh, let me ask few general questions. Can you identify the component in this picture? Yes, it is a cell. There are a lot of cells you can see with the different companies. Now what about this? It is a battery. Correct. Now my question is, why do we require these cells and batteries in our day to day life? Now, the answer is, it is a source of chemical energy and the chemical reaction within the cell generates the potential difference between the two terminals that sets the electron in motion in an electric circuit hence we get the flow of current yes so when we connect a cell or a battery in a circuit so it acts like an energy source to the electron hence the movement of electron takes place now let us observe this circuit now there is a battery now the flow of electron animated in this uh, diagram now the electrons are flowing here you can see the moment of electron is represented with the dots the moment we close the switch the electrons are flowing so here the battery is acting as energy source to these electrons now you can see the flow of electrons because of this battery now what is the role of battery here the battery provides energy and it expands if you observe uh, one more example let us take so the rotation of fan so we have to provide energy then only the fan rotation takes place so the electrical energy we have to provide similarly the glowing of bulb so it needs some energy and that is electrical energy now in all these three cases the moment of electron is taking place hence we call current now to maintain this current the source must expend its chemical energy but if you observe some part of this chemical energy is converted to electrical energy like running of a fan glowing a bulb and some part of it is converted to heat energy so the source energy is divided into two categories one is electrical energy the second one is heat energy now if you observe the circuit there is a battery there is a switch there is a bulb so there is a electric energy at the same time there is some heat energy also provided by this bulb but some components or some gadgets purely work on heat energy so this is example the heating effect of electric current is utilized like you can observe the slide iron box water heater geyser toaster etc they utilize the heating effect of electric current now this heating effect we can understand more clearly by learning joule's law of heating now if you observe the circuit here there is a dc source and there is a resistor and this is called purely resistive circuit now in this case the direction of current is from positive to negative you can observe here it is going from positive to negative current flowing positive to negative and there is a resistor of r the current of i and potential difference of v applied now let us try to understand this derivation of joule's law of heating now now v is the applied potential when we apply this potential to that circuit so there is a current flowing 
and there is a resistance R in the given circuit. High is the current flowing through the circuit, but this current is flowing for a particular time. So T is the total time taken for the current flow. Once again, V is the applied potential, R is the resistance of the circuit, I is the current flowing through the circuit and T is the total time taken for the current flow. Now, what is the total charge flowing through the circuit? We know the formula current I is equal to Q by T. Therefore, Q equal to I into T that is our equation 1. Once again, we know I is equal to Q by T. Therefore, Q equal to I into T. But we know that potential difference V equal to W by Q. Now, if we rearrange W can be written as V into Q. Now let us substitute equation 1 in this W formula. Now V as it is in the place of Q we substituted I into T. But the famous Ohm's law gives V equal to IR. Now let us substitute this IR in equation 2. Now IR into I into T. What happens? It will become I square or T. I into I I square or T. Now, this work done in the above circuit is equivalent to the heat dissipation because there is no light. It is purely heat dissipated circuit and that can be written as H which is equal to W and I square R T and this is called Joule's law of heating and the heat dissipated is an energy therefore the SI unit of heat dissipation is Joule. Now there is one more small definition we have to learn that is power. Now power we know work done per unit time in general but in this electric circuit it is a rate of transferring heat that is known as power electric power so that is power is equal to work done by time here heat energy by time if we substitute W equal to V into I into T in our previous slide we have seen that V into I into T in the numerator in the denominator tree T therefore power equal to V into I therefore the SI unit of power is watts.